What's up? Hanging with the creatures, getting done together. Reading some articles online. Thought I'd start doing some article reading to you guys. Uh, hot topic. This one I came across today. Only some Switch games will be seventy dollars. Nintendo says. This. Let's um. This and see how we feel about it. Okay. How do you feel about this? Found this on Kotaku today. Let's read this article about Switch games increasing in price. Only some Switch games will be dollar seventy. Nintendo says, despite Zelda, most Switch games still won't be priced at more than $1.60, it seems, by Ethan Gack. The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, will be Nintendo's first $1.70 game, but it doesn't sound like it will have a whole lot of company anytime soon. Rather than being a watershed moment for premium Switch games moving forward, the publisher says the $70 price point will be reserved for specific titles. We determine the suggested retail price for any Nintendo product on a case-by-case -case basis. A spokesperson for the company told a Game Informer in a statement, when asked if this was part of a new trend for Switch games, Nintendo simply responded, no. Pikmin 4 is one clear uh, example of this. Uh, set to launch after Tears of the Kingdom on July 21st, it's priced back at the standard $60 price point. <laughs> Meanwhile, Metroid Prime remastered, shadow dropped during this week's Nintendo Direct, is just $1.40, though some fans had previously hoped that the entire trilogy would be available as part of a single $1.60 collection. When Nintendo first let the news of a $1.70 Zelda slip in a premature update to pre-order pages, some balked. On the one hand, it's running on the same hardware that Breath of the Wild did six years ago, which is usually what publishers point to to justify price increases. On the other hand, it would probably be better if companies experimented more with pricing rather than try to make it up on the back end through tons of paid DLC, season passes, and expansions. Nintendo is hardly alone in exploring higher prices, especially as many countries face record levels of inflation. Current-gen versions of most games recently adopted the $1.70 price point, a move Sony made for its first-party releases back when the PS5 first debuted. Microsoft, which resisted this trend early in the Xbox Series XS lifecycle, also announced upcoming price hikes at the end of last year. While Halo Infinite and Forza Horizon 5 were both $1.60, Redfall and the Starfield will both be $1.70. Time will tell if Nintendo decides to take a similar stance when the Switch 2, or whatever its successor is called, is announced in the coming years. For now, however, it sounds like The Legend of Zelda, uh, Tears of the Kingdom, will be the exception rather than the rule. How do you... Yeah, sorry about that. So how, how do you feel about that? I think it's. I think it kind of sucks. Be honest with you. Twenty dollars for Legend Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom, and we're not getting new hardware. Comment down below. Just wanted to get this up and for you guys and girls, and have a little discussion in the comment section. Hanging out with me, I always appreciate it. Hang out, like, subscribe, whatever you like to do. Like this, let me know. I can do more of them. Stuff to you. Not everybody knows where to find some of this information and I nerd out on it all the time. I always appreciate you guys hanging out with me. It's just crazy to think that Nintendo is going to get away with this because it's going to be their most, their biggest game in a while, especially this year. It'll be the contender at least. It was the first one, one game of the year. And now they're saying, hey, Church 70. So, no, just kind of, Irritating. It's sad. It's uh so many different things in the negative space and I'm not trying to be negative on here, but it's a bummer to know that it's seventy dollars and then you don't get any special DLC or bonuses or anything like that. Just straight up seventy dollars. So I will tell how this is gonna trend. I mean, looking at Hogwarts Legacy, how everyone bought that and a Supposedly a lot of people, I mean, supposedly a lot of people have bought it. Supposedly a lot of people like it. Supposedly a lot of people hate it. There's all these different things around that. So games are going to sell. People 
lot of people would think seventy dollars may not be much of a difference than sixty, but a lot of us can't afford them. And with the economy and everything going on in the world, I want to make sure. I don't know. I would. I'd like to see fair. But not how the world works. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with the me reading about thumb switch games being seventy dollars. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Thank you.